stage the director of Pitch Slap, Rick Jacobson.
Uh, no, I actually I read the my audition scene was the Deputy Fuchs scene, and I read it and because I had told my agent to go fuck himself when he told me that I had an audition for a film called Bitch Lab, and um, I said, do I need to remind you that I don't do porn? And uh, then he said, just read the sides, and I read the Deputy Fuchs scene, and then the last twist at the end where she says he doesn't suspect a thing, I went. Okay, this is smart. These guys get it, and these are smart women. So immediately, I knew that you know I was on board. And then, of course, I found out. You know, I got a chance to meet the guys. They told me what they were planning on doing, and it was just kind of a no-brainer from that point on. We were in it to win it. Also, Eric did tell me my last meeting. He said, "You will work harder on this film than you have ever worked on any other film in your life." and any other film that you will do for the rest of your life. And you will get bloody and dirty, you may go to the hospital, you probably get hurt, and we're gonna work you like a rented mule, pretty much. Uh, so if you're on board for that, then let's do it. And, uh, and, and with that in mind, we kind of went forward. One little anecdote that I, I, I always remember, which I kind of, I, I, I hope that it got cut out, but then I went, yeah, there it is. Um, there was a shot where I do a, kick and my leg is up in the air and I remember as we were shooting I brought my leg up and I kind of held up and I went, oh crap, I've got a hole in my pantyhose. And it's right in my crotch and then I saw it and went, oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> if you can maybe like, when you get it on DVD, you know, that'll be one of the things to What attracted me to this film actually was a, was a call from, from Rick. Uh, he told me as well to, to read 20 pages and see if I get it or if I don't. And, um, and I, I read it. He also promised that I would have the opportunity to play a role that I would probably never, ever, ever come across again and get to do things in this film that I would never, ever be asked to do. And uh, I, I'm in this business for an adventure. I love, I love taking things that are different. Usually, you know, you get guests as a girlfriend or a mistress or whatever. It's kind of boring. So, 20 pages in already, it was, it was exhausting. And just thinking about doing it, but it was so exciting. So um, that was uh, that was that. When I got on set, though, I remember asking uh, Brian Peck, the associate producer, what the tone was exactly. Like, how far could we go? And um, I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't going over the top. And, and he said, <laughs> he said words that I'm so excited. I'm an opera singer, uh, used to be. And uh, I, I, I'm used to big, big stages and big movements and big performances. And he goes, oh, honey, this is bitch slap. Welcome. You can't be too big. <laughs> Go there. And I'm like, oh, OK, great. Thanks. So um, that, that was fun. Um, but uh, my. Mm, there's a lot of, of damage that was done to my body uh, during the course of this, and <clears throat> still recovering from. Uh, the, the most fun to talk about is uh, the bruise that I got uh, thanks to Aaron being very dedicated to the crotch fighting. <laughs> and I think Rick might have been dedicated to seeing it happen over and over and over. <laughs> yeah, so that was, an, that was a bruise that I never thought I'd get, and one that I I'll ever get again. Well, you might. Hey. <laughs>